Originally, it was meant only for uh, uh, German Jewish children, but then Austria was ac occupied by the Germans, and then Czechoslovakia was occupied by them, and so you could say children from those countries were included also, and maybe a few others. You understand this was a very chaotic situation in Europe, and uh, uh, there was nothing terribly well organized about it. So in fact, I think very nearly 10,000 children were saved in this way. Okay. Well, who, who contacted, um, I guess, the, uh, one of the organizers of that on your behalf? Oh, my mother. Your mother. Your mother. Yes, yes. Uh, I don't know how she did. I never, never knew anything about the kinder transport. I was just going to school in Prague. Uh, and uh, she just one day she took me to the British consulate for visa and passport entries and uh, I met somebody there and that was it as far as I was concerned. Nobody ever told me about the kinder transport. <laughs> My mother just took me to the railroad station one day and I uh, entered the train. What was her re what was her um, explanation to you? Oh, she she was sending me to England, uh, and uh, I did always did what my mother told me to do. So I went. I went. There were actually thirty six of us in that so-called second kinder transport from Prague, and uh, it's uh, amusing because actually my mother. Uh, baked some jewels into candies or biscuits uh, to take with me. Uh, but on the railway platform, there was an announcement to say that any child found with uh, money or va valuables uh, would be sent back. So we took all these things out of the suitcase and they reached us by some completely different route in the long run. In fact, when I was going through customs on the way into Holland, the German custom uh, were very nice to me. I couldn't find the key to my case, and they said, oh, never mind, and I just went through. So I could have taken a lot of things with me, but uh, I, I, I just went through. So we went to Holland. In Holland, uh, some nice la ladies brought us uh, some food and drink and then we went on to the hook of holland and there we caught a boat to take us to harwich in england in england we went from harwich by train to london to liverpool street station at that station now if you went there and perhaps one day you will there is a little monument uh, to the kinder transport arrivals. Hmm. Uh, it's uh, in the form of a suitcase and all kinds of things in it. Um, does, it does it look like your suitcase? Did it look I've, like your suitcase? I've never seen it because I have never been back to England since they did it. Uh, but I might guess it, it was a generic suitcase with generic objects inside. Um, we just, I had some nice clothes and uh, pencil cases, perhaps, and the odd book that I brought with me. But that's it. Because really, at this point, um, you're, you're going from, by stepping on this train, you're going from your old life to your new life. Yes. Do you wish you took more with you? No, because when I got to England, I was put into a boarding school. And in the boarding school, you essentially lose everything you ever had. Uh, they call it swapping. So you would swall, swap things f with other things. And I don't remember what happened to any of the things I had. Uh, uh, so my guess is that uh, I would have lost everything I took. Of course, jewels are another matter. Since I didn't bring any, I have not the least idea what I would have done with them. I presume I would have hand them, handed them over to relatives, but I I didn't have any, so that wasn't an issue. Would your mother at that time have known uh, what she what was going to happen, what she would have experienced, or do you, do you think she had no idea what was to come? My guess is that she had no. I 
that she had little idea of the terrible things that were ahead. But I have to say, from my limited experience, many of the people that I met uh, would not have foreseen the kind of uh, bestiality of the German uh, troops and occupations. I, I, I think people didn't expect. So presumably she expected to see you again. I think she hoped she would, yes, yes.